All right, guys, let's have a look at this Atlas taper attachment. All right, guys, so Atlas made at least three different versions of the tapering attachment. Um, here's a here's a drawing of the number seven hundred, and uh, it's you know they call it their tool room uh, tapering attachment, and the pivot is in the center. So, I mean, I'm, I don't know if this is any more accurate. I suppose it, that's what they want to believe anyway. But I don't have one of these. The one I have is actually the, uh, the number 700. Here's a, here's a drawing of the, the 700. And we've got parts of that. Uh, and then there's also, which is very, very similar to the 700, it's the uh, 6822. And this is not a very good, uh, here's actually the drawings of the parts. Alright, so let's get that out of the way. So what we need to do here, eh, kind of, I know Dave at the Crafted Channel needs some of this stuff, so I went on to the, uh, the Atlas Craftsman um, Yahoo group. And they've got a bunch of drawings here. Here's kind of uh, some drawings with measurements of some of the pieces. Uh, the first three pages there aren't uh, very handy. Uh, but these other ones here, they show uh, really good detailed measured drawings of some of the parts. Here's a, uh, this is a locking screw, and I'm not sure exactly what that's for. I think it's for the piece that, it's the dovetail part that fits onto the cross slide ways. Here's the uh, draw bar, which I believe we both need that. It's very hard to flip. I got the camera. <laughs> I'm reaching around the camera to do this. Okay, so here it's called the draw bar guide. Here's that, that piece that has the dovetail. And I believe there's a screw that, you know, helps clamp onto that. I think that's probably what that is. And uh, what else we got here? Okay, here's the feed slide. So this is the part that that runs back and forth across this here, I believe. So we need to make that. And they're drawing here. They're just showing making that out of bar stock. But, uh, eh, you know, I do the pattern, so I could probably make up a pattern where we could cast one in, in iron, which is, which is the way it was made originally, I believe. Uh, here's the... This is the nut that goes on the uh, underneath the feed slide. Let's see here if I can show you sort of where that is. And this piece here. Yeah, let's see if uh, this screw right here, I believe it fits inside of that, that slot. I think that's what locks it in position there. All right, so what else have we got? And this, this is a part that's specific to the 3 8 um, the 3 8 inch bed. And I'm really not even sure what this is. I think this goes in like, um, I think where your, your cross slide feed nut goes, I think that drops into that hole. Uh, I'm not sure exactly about that. We'll have to look. And what else we got here? This is a little steel pin that goes in or something. I'm not sure exactly what that is really either. A lot of unknowns here. I really wish I knew somebody that they had a complete one. You know, about a year or so ago, uh, I was at an auction and there was a, I think it was listed as a Dunlop, but it was a Craftsman lathe and it had one of these attachments on it. And there is a lady that buys up all these old machines, throws the machines away, and takes the legs and turns it into tables and furniture and stuff. And just drives me insane. You know, she paid, I think, $300 for a machine that was not in very good condition, just so she could have the legs. Well, anyway, you know, you can't reason with everybody, I guess. But I sure hate bidding against people like that. Well, anyway, uh, that's all I got for right now. 
Um, uh, if anybody is really in need of one of these, let me know. You know, I mean, I've got this stuff here. We could, we certainly could probably make patterns out of these pieces. This is just a piece of bar. Uh, anyway, that's the update as far as that goes with the tapering attachment. All right, we'll see you next week. All right, guys, if you like that, why don't you hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. We'll have more stuff like this coming up every week.